Portable setups are an imperative aspect of working on the go. Today we'll take a look at a personal setup that I take on the go, which this video will actually be edited on. So why should you listen to me? Well, as a college student who somehow thought it was a wonderful idea to commute to the university down the road from my parents' house, I know a few things about trying to work on the go. Even with a relatively small commute, I still spend eight or more hours a day unable to run home and work on editing and gaming and things like that, at least on this computer. Now, we can take current events like we really can't ignore the fact that when this is all over, whatever that is, I will go back commuting to school and doing schoolwork there. So while you may not need a setup to take with you now, you will when the whole world wakes up from this wonderful mess that we're in. So now I am particular about a few things and I have some things that are extremely important to me when you have a portable setup. Now obviously there are different preferences for each person, but what's really important for me, you'll hear in a second. So. On the list of extremely important requirements is number one, light. And we're not talking about like flashlights. We're talking about being light on my back. So I don't know how many of you have actually walked around college campuses recently, at least the large ones, carrying a backpack full of gym clothes, all the books for the day, and you know, this setup all around campus because you don't have a dorm to go back to can cause some serious back issues. And as someone who has a medically diagnosed hunchback, carrying a heavy backpack around does not constitute the idea of um, fun. So everything except this laptop is chosen in consideration of being light. Why the laptop, you ask? Well, because my school one is covered in stickers. Out of all the ways, I would like to invite all my viewers to my full identity. Uh, we're not there yet. We still got some more to go on this relationship. So we have a few more months before I think I'm ready for that. I think we will use my work laptop on the other hand. No, I do not carry this brick around school. And if I did, my back would be bent over the other way. So when you're walking around college campus all the time, it's not great having a huge backpack. And so that's why the size of the setup also matters. You don't have a lot of space in a backpack. So I mean, some of this is unavoidable. I mean, when you have to pack everything to take with you, it's kind of hard to avoid some things. The worst thing though, is trying to fit one of, into one of those lecture halls with your backpack. And even though those lecture halls actually are a thing of the past, because uh, they're not really coming back anytime soon, at least according to my college. And of course, my college already put all my lectures online. So I'm having a wonderful time already. So yes, I get to pay full college prices for online lectures, a wonderful experience. In the case of what you carry around with you, size matters, no matter what people tell you. No matter how much motion in the ocean you got, you are not going to make a large backpack fit in between you and that seat without having some serious leg issues. So besides avoiding a twisted spine as much as possible, I also really struggle with one screen. And I'm kind of um, a little spoiled in the fact that I have three large screens that I purchased for this whole, before this whole COVID thing broke out. I'm kind of lucky in the fact that I've purchased these three screens because this is what I do my work, school, all that stuff on for the last couple months now. And so whenever I go back, I'm going to be kind of missing the second monitor, third, and all those monitors. So when I go off to school, my Lenovo P50S, it's a fun time with the 15.6 inch screen, which is someone that is used to um, multiple monitors has some slight problems. So adding a second monitor is going to be a must. Now my old laptop is without any USB type C ports and has some extra strings attached, or in this case, cables. I love having a second monitor. The one I have here is the Azui portable monitor. Three complaints. First, being the monitor advertises being for gaming, but has a 15 millisecond delay with a 60 Hertz refresh rate. I don't see that happening anytime soon in any practicality. Also the stand is just plain out horrible. Uh, so horrible that I am working on printing a new one. And finally I wish they include a battery in the display. There is a little notch cut off that they really could have put a nice battery in. Not to mention the battery goes by much faster when you are now powering another screen. There are some pros too, don't get me wrong. The screen is pretty good and has an HDR feature, 
And I'm always cautious of these features because it usually increases the delay or the response time more and the color reproduction is relatively good with HDR on. Now, of course, it's not also great. It comes with a screen protector that's really hard to apply to such a large area and that's probably my error. I wish they can't included it in stock. But as someone who applies all the family's screen protectors for phones, I say I have a little experience. In my opinion, it really does make a good secondary monitor. For $150, it's a mid-range relatively option in the portable monitor market. And on the bright side, it also is pretty thin and light. My two favorite features. So obviously, you need a gaming mouse. And nothing replaces actually just a regular mouse for the matter. And I get so much more work done when I have a mouse and I'm not constantly sliding the trackpad all across because I swear that's all I'm doing with the trackpad. So that goes for everyone and everything too. I'm not just calling out one certain company for a crap trackpad. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that I just hate trackpads in general. So that goes, as I said, for everything and everyone. And I have yet to find a good trackpad. They all suck. So any mouse will do, and I think this is a $2, $3 uh, Jellycomb mouse. It was one of the first free ones I got. I still use it. Thank you, Jellycomb, for sending this out to me. Um, and this is what I do my scripts on now. So, And the one I have for the other laptop is like a Red M mouse for like 7 bucks. Next up is the optionals. And what are the optionals? Optionals are things like I take in on certain days, like a set of books for some classes or speakers. And I actually have a set that pairs together that sounds pretty nice. These are the Treblab HD 77, I believe. And the worst part is I've had these for about three or so months. And me and my friends at the time, I had this company offer to send them to me. And I, at the time, was plotting this amazing plan to play the Wii theme song during my calculus lecture and gradually increase the volume for that video. I'm sure you guys would have enjoyed that. But sadly, they arrived shortly after they decided to close down. So, while I won't be on playing the Wii theme song anytime soon, sadly, I will be including these speakers on this video for something that I take on the go. For example, I'm packing to head down to the beach this weekend, and having loud speakers is great for late nights on the beach with friends. You, I mean, COVID aside, we'll be socially distancing. Don't worry about it. Plus, with the fact that they pair together and play in unison, it works pretty well. Now, there are problems for our little grading scale, though. Uh, they're large, and they're kind of awkward. Um, they have a really awkward shape, rather. But what can you do? And fitting them both into a backpack kind of is difficult with books especially because when you're carrying around everything it's kind of difficult so even if we were to solve that problem by clipping them to the outside they still would be exposed to the rain or prying eyes etc so they could get damaged pretty easily by getting bumped around and so each speaker also weighs a, a considerable bit i'd say maybe five or six pounds which adds up when you have two of them and not that other speakers would weigh more, though. Any speaker will ha be heavy if it's a decent quality. Now, obviously, you can link these up to your Bluetooth computer to get these speakers, and they have pretty great sound quality, but these really only work well when you're trying to play music because getting the delay to go away is annoying, especially when you have them both paired up in the stereo mode. You find it very, very difficult to get these speakers to play uh, without any really noticeable delay. I'd say maybe it's in a half second delay between what you see on the screen and what you hear on the speakers. So what makes these few things worth it? Well, to get off with you, the monitor is a must. Um, like, I know people will try to sell you stuff on YouTube and there will be the, 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 whole, the whole conversation about people trying to sell you stuff. I have, the monitor I have is the monitor, but please, buy some monitor. Uh, any monitor is my recommendation, please. That has been eye-opening on how much I enjoyed having a second monitor. And in some places, it's not possible. Like, you cannot be sitting in a lecture hall with your second monitor up and, you know, sitting in the cramped seat. That's not happening. But when you find your favorite corner in the library, a good desk, or, you know, a spot in the lecture hall that actually has some space, it is extremely helpful, especially when you are trying to do your math homework and try to figure out what the heck is going on. So the speakers 
don't have much practicality in lecture halls and in most days. I mean, you can watch YouTube videos and play the Wii music theme song in full volume, but the restrictions on what you're actually going to be using them for are great. Headphones are another example. Now, I don't have personally have headphones. I have some pair of wireless earbuds that I've used just to pretty much go through and listen to the things that I really want to if I want to link up music. Now, if you really decide you want to play full these things on full volume, the whole class would be know, knowing whichever, oh boy. Now, if you decided that you wanted to play music, the whole class would know exactly what was going on because these suckers can get pretty loud. Now, when you have the need for music with friends or hanging out in someone's dorm, or in the case of hopefully next weekend, I will be doing using these. So it will be a great solution. Now, how is this video editing experience? To best do this, I figured I would try to do work on my laptop, like editing and making this video. So what really makes these few things worth it? Well, the monitor is a must, and in some places it is just not possible to set up. But when you find your favorite corner in the library or a good desk in a lecture, it can be extremely helpful. So the speakers don't have as much as practicality in the lecture. I mean, you can watch YouTube videos and things like that in class, but it won't be a good idea blasting whatever you're playing all around in full volume. The whole class would know exactly which YouTube video you're watching and probably your professor. Now, when you have to have that need for music, these would be great. Or maybe like say you're in a dorm or something, these would be a great solution for that. Now, how is the video editing experience? Well, to do this, as I said, I would try to do my work on my laptop and editing and making this video. And uh, a couple things that I noticed right away. Well, with my big laptop, this is quite nice. Um, and the second monitor is really, really good for the organization of just having that second monitor when you're trying to edit. Um, but the speakers are also great when you're not trying to carry them around, but this hot entire thing probably weighs as much as my backpack, so just keep that in mind. Um, listening to music and all that stuff is also fine. I have these turned off, though, the two speakers right now. Um, but this wouldn't be so, super fun if you were on a smaller screen like my 15.6 inch P50S. I know this is a smaller screen, but this is definitely really doable. So I feel like for the last time I did video editing work on this laptop, um, I feel like this with a second monitor would be much, much better. Easily increasing my productivity as well as by adding another monitor and it's still relatively just as portable as the laptop itself. Now it's a little, actually this is, the laptop is bigger, but usually my computer would just be as, about the same size. So that concludes my portable setup showcase. Let me know what your favorite thing from this setup was, I guess. And um, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. And as always, thank you very much for watching.